A specialized golf cart helping veterans play the game? Stolen. The course manager says the cart was used on a regular basis to help people with mobility issues golf. CBS 13's Brady Halbleib is here and tells us not only was this golf cart stolen, but also, Brady, a sense of freedom. Yeah, that's right, guys. It was a way to, for people to connect, get exercise, and also a way for these veterans to return to everyday life, which is critical for those who suffer from PTSD. But for, an, for uh, a few Stockton veterans who utilized this golf cart, that was all taken away. Said that it was in his back here behind our um, cafe. Swenson golf course manager Joe Smith says it was Monday morning when he went to the storage shed to find the golf cart missing. Lock was gone. Surveillance video shows the moments the thief hit, showing a hooded, masked person around 2 a.m. Sunday riding off with it. We drove right through here. The golf cart was designed to help people with mobility issues stand upright, allowing them to swing. It's a wonderful thing for people that, you know, the. Don't have the ability to walk around like you and I do to still come out and play golf. The car was given by the PGA Hope Foundation, an organization which helps veterans learn how to golf. And as a partner of the foundation, Smith knows firsthand how much it means to them. And I've seen the, just the the life come out of somebody because they have something now that they can go do. Returning to civilian life isn't easy for many veterans. James Brashear, a VFW commander, says finding a hobby is critical. That little piece is so critical for their mental well being. And the game of golf can do just that while also connecting veterans with others. But now that chance has been taken away. Then to have them lose it all over again, it's reintroducing the trauma that they first went through. Now, this cart is expensive, costing more than $30,000. Smith and others have now started a GoFundMe page um, to help to replace that as soon as possible. To learn more about how you can help out, you can go to this story on our website, cbs13.com.